A lot of people moved to the UK in recent times and are finding it very difficult to adapt. They've not had an easy time settling down in their new environment. This is even further complicated by the rising cost of living in the country. And some have struggled to get jobs and even accommodation, making it more difficult for them. This has made a lot of people question their decision to move abroad, especially for those who have things going on relatively well for them in their home countries. And then you wonder, was it really worth it? So in today's video, we're talking about things to note before moving abroad. That is things you really need to consider if you want to move abroad. This is very important, so you need to watch this video so you will get all the details so you wouldn't make the same mistakes some of those people who are in the UK today have made and are regretting. And it will help you prepare yourself better for life in the UK. My name is Tochi. You're welcome to my channel. Please like this video already so YouTube can recommend it to more people. Share it to everyone that will benefit from it. To all my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. You're welcome back to my channel. Recently, there's been lots of information, news, and different things flying up and down on social media. And generally, there's also this misconception about life abroad or moving abroad. So we just need to clear the air and talk about these things so you have a better understanding of what life abroad is like and why you really need to prepare yourself so that you don't make some certain mistakes and then regret moving abroad afterwards, right? So that is why I'm here to talk about things to consider before you move abroad. Number one, you need to have a plan. You need to have plan A, B, and even C, right? So you need to really prepare yourself. Personally, I call it the three Ps, prepare, plan, and pray. If you check, you might discover that some of these people who are regretting today moving abroad are those who just didn't have a plan. They just had to move abroad because they wanted to or because their friends were moving. So they didn't really make any concrete arrangement. They didn't have any plan. It's really funny or even unfortunate that sometimes you ask some people why they want to move abroad or they come to you and say they want to move abroad and all that. And you ask them, why do you want to move abroad or something? They don't even have any tangible reason. Some of them are not even ready they don't even have their international passport to start with right so only people who have made plans would actually succeed anywhere they find themselves abroad you need to really have a plan honestly this is very important so that when you move abroad you hold on to your plan a and if eventually your plan a doesn't work you fall back to your plan b and then always remember that if you fail to plan you're obviously planning to fail right in most cases so you have to be prepared all the time and then you should always ask yourself what kind of life do you want for yourself and your children abroad so you need to do thorough research and read about the country and the city you're moving to because of living in that city you know what school life is like for children what life is like there how easy it is to get jobs there the extent to which you can discipline your children of course it's not going to be the same with where you're coming from you need to even start on learning some of the things that you have learned even why you're still outside the uk for instance so that when you come into the uk to be very easy for you to adapt to the system of disciplining children and all of that and then you also have to consider career opportunities for you and your spouse in the country or city you're moving to that is if you're married and then if you can easily find african foods there so that you would make adequate arrangements right now the truth is that you will see so many things online on youtube people are saying different things both the ones that are true and the ones that are false right do not take anything you hear from people hook line and sinker go and do your own research for the uk especially there is nothing you really want to know about the uk that is hidden everything is online and most things about the uk is on the government website at gov.uk you can always get any information you want right number two there are certain questions you really need to answer you must ask yourself these questions and of course have the right answers to them before you move ask yourself how are you doing where you are what are you doing 
because obviously there are people who are doing relatively well in their home countries right they might not really understand that sometimes when you're moving abroad you're going to start life afresh right you're going to a new city and it might be so different from what you're used to and this is why you need to ask yourself these questions at that point where you want to move abroad or you're planning to move what are you doing what is your circumstance what are your kids doing what is your life like why do you want to move abroad are you and your spouse on the same page trust me if you're not on the same page when it comes to moving abroad with your spouse you guys might you know find it difficult settling down because you have issues and moving alone as a single parent will not even do you any good because there's childcare challenge in the uk especially so you have to deal with all that and put all that into consideration as well so you really need to be in agreement with your spouse if you want to move abroad there are lots of spouses who came into the uk and are not finding it easy you know they are busy regretting blaming themselves i was busy doing well in my home country you made me come so the man might be telling the woman i was busy doing well in my home country you made me come here or the woman i'm telling the man i had my career going on well for me in my home country you made me come here you promised me this and that and now it's totally different from what you told me you know what we envisage and all that and you discover that their marriage will just keep struggling and struggling and might eventually end if not properly handled. So this is one of the reasons why you and your spouse really need to sit down, go back to the drawing board and ask yourselves if this move is the best thing for your family. And if you both are in agreement, then that's perfect. And then you ask yourself, which route is best for us to take? Are we going to study abroad or is it basically for career progression? You know, you ask yourself who's going to be the dependent, who is applying for the job, who is applying for the study. You guys have to put child care and all these things into consideration when making that decision. If you are single, then it's way easier because you just have to decide whether you want to move abroad and what you're going abroad to do and then you make the move. Number three, understand that you'll be moving to a different society with a different culture, different environment, basically different from what you're used to. This point is also linked to the first point I mentioned. You know, you need to research and read thoroughly about where you're going to, the city you're going to, the people, what they love and all that. You know, it will be easier for you to settle in if you do that, right? So you really need to learn and unlearn some things. Learn new things and unlearn some things that you have learned where you're coming from because it's definitely a different society. It's definitely a different culture, you know, different people, different food, the way they reason is quite different from you. A lot of them have different orientations, different ideologies about life, different things. And sometimes when you hear what they say or what they believe in, you just be shocked, right? This is one of the culture shock I believe everybody who moves abroad have to deal with. So you must always respect people and what they believe in. Okay, there are people who even advise that when you get to the airport, you need to leave some things there, some baggages there before you move into the country proper. Okay, that will really help you. So yeah, this is something you must think about. This is something you must understand. So any country you're moving to at all, you must read about them thoroughly. This would help you a lot. Number four, you must understand that moving abroad is not a get rich quick scheme. This is another misconception people have about the UK or people have about those living abroad. You know, it feels like you can pluck money on trees or you can get money as you're working on the streets and all that. You know, you know that's a lie. That's not true. When you move abroad sometimes, you get to understand the true meaning of hard work. You work for every pound and every dollar that you make. It is very important you understand these things. Because sometimes you might even struggle, right, for the first few years of moving abroad. You might go through challenges. You might even question your decision of moving abroad. You begin to ask yourself, did I really make the right decision? Was it actually worth it? Okay, you might go through that phase where you get to cry almost every day and just begin to wonder and question your decision. But don't worry about that, right? With hard work, with commitment and dedication, you will definitely make it with the right mindset but it might take a while it might not happen as soon as you expect it to happen but it would eventually happen with time number five 
It could be very lonely and depressing living abroad. Yes, because you're traveling to a new country. You don't have your friends and family there for most people. Most people just pack their bags and, you know, move to a country where they got a job or where they got admission or something. They don't have friends there. They don't have relations there and all that. So you're basically leaving your family behind or people you're used to behind and moving to a new country to start afresh. Okay, so it might take a while for you to adapt it might take a while for you to begin to get into the system and all that and trust me no man is an island everybody needs a friend everybody needs somebody to talk to especially for those who are single if it's for the married people they can really manage and you know survive talk to themselves you know and all that and their children compared to when you're single and just moving alone it might be a bit more difficult oh i understand that it might be very difficult you know making friends in your adult age and all that so you must be intentional about meeting people making friends going out and trust me it could be very difficult because of the weather most people are indoors most people are walking when you're free the next person is walking and when that person is free you are walking and things like that and for the single ones as well you should also understand that it might not be so difficult meeting people or making new friends or even getting married abroad so you must put all these things into consideration and then for those who are married you must also understand that sometimes people's marriages crash abroad for certain reasons so you should try to you know read up about all those things find out exactly why people's marriages tend to crash abroad and work on it you know find a way to deal with these things even before you move this would help you a lot so yeah these are some of the important things that you should really consider before moving abroad i hope this video helps thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye